Yeah, is this a is this a crazy idea to stay with strangers? Um, I would say probably yes. But you know, I, I mean, I, I need to sell books. You know, a cartoonist has got to work. I got to sell books. My publisher will not send me on tour. It's a, you know, the book is 8.95. To the publisher, it's a math problem. And I have never been very good at math. Sometime this year, my 10,000th cartoon will run in the newspaper. And I honestly don't know exactly what day it is because to know what day it is, I'd have to know how many years it is between now and 1985. <laughs> I would have to know how many days there are in a year. I would have to add or subtract for leap years, and who knows how often those things come around. The whole thing just sounds like a story problem that Sister Miriam Teresa would have given me. It's a little scary, um, but I think it'll be fun, which is, which is what I tell myself to keep myself from worrying about getting killed in my sleep. You know, it's an adventure, and my whole life's been an adventure. I mean, what's the, you know, I just think a, a predictable life is maybe not worth living. Just a kind of a, a quick, brief, bio of, of what I was up to before I got into Bizarro. I was conceived. <laughs> I divided. I had a short career in ventriloquism. <laughs> I was raised a staunch Catholic. In fact, my father wanted to be a priest. He went to 12 years of Catholic school, and when he graduated Catholic school, he was going to go to seminary and be a priest. Absolutely true story. And my grandfather talked him out of it, probably because he had actually had sex before, and knew what my dad would be missing by dedicating his life to celibacy. And I'm lucky he did, because if, you know, if, he, if, he, hadn't, if he had become a priest, I probably uh, wouldn't have been born. Or I might have been born, and, and, and my mother would have been a 13-year-old boy. I don't know. I am not a very PC guy. Um, I, I love a good controversy. Uh, I love to take pot shots at the easy targets, organize religion. NRA. So I get a lot of hate mail, and I love hate mail. I love nothing more than a good controversy over over a joke. So I'm sure that the, that I'm going to get a certain amount of uh, friction when I go to the red states, but I'm I'm actually looking forward to that. I enjoy a good fight. And remember, the whole point of this is to promote shopping. <laughs> All right. This is the letter I got for this. If the cartoonist wanted to wage war on Christianity, he, she could not have picked a better day. I thought so too. That's why I put it on Christmas Day. Was the cartoon supposed to be provocative? It was just offensive, pure and simple. Does freedom of the press mean freedom to attack one's sacred beliefs? Yes. Yes, it does. So anyway, the rules are simple. Any Bizarro fan who wants to send me a plane ticket, feed me and let me stay at their house, I will go. I don't care if they're preachers, pygmies, family of circus clowns, bikers, billionaires, lesbians, vampire hunters, uh, even Republicans. My major opposition is illegal immigration. I think it's going to be interesting, but I got to say, I'm not the easiest guest in the world. I became vegan 10 years ago. It's not a matter of health or anything. The only reason we eat animals. I just, all of a sudden that day it hit me. The only reason I eat animals is because they taste good. And I thought, you know, they're, they're really just like cats and dogs and I wouldn't eat a cat or dog just because it tasted good. I might do it for survival. For that matter, for survival, I would eat you. You know, <laughs> any of you. If it's up, it's just me and you and I had the knife and there was nothing left to eat on the planet. <laughs> Thanks for your readership, but. You know, I've done 10,000 cartoons, a cartoon a day for 10,000 days. But what I'm really hoping is that on this tour, I'm going to have all kinds of inspiration for the next 10,000 cartoons. And how could I not? This is actually my favorite explanation for what happened to the dinosaurs. The thing that people respond to in my cartoons is that I see the world differently than others do. Medusa had a new beach. <laughs> And the people who go on this journey with me are gonna see parts of America that they never knew existed, but they're everywhere. They live among us. 